everybody this is Nia Boaz Filer if you haven't seen my last video I suggest you do so there's a personal message by me about my personal life that you should all be updated on I'm not gonna go over the things again I'm here to talk about the sky I'm here to talk about the sky up to the 8th or 9th of February 2020 I want to thank everybody for your support it's been heartwarming and this is definitely a journey you know for the soul as you can see I'm in nature a little bit the good news is I've found an apartment and that stability gives my Torian son much calmness and tranquility needed to go on and process this new birthing that I'm going through um, I will be putting up soon enough within the next couple of weeks the um, you know the head start page or whatever it will be in the go go you know and you could put funds in there and I want to thank you for saying you would support me and as I said this is heartwarming so let's talk about celestial transits let's talk about this time let's talk about where we are heading so up to the ninth amazing energetic buildup in the sky I mean on the longer term February isn't an easy month it began with a, moon, a new moon in Aquarius squaring Uranus it's going to be turbulent it's going to be hectic it's not going to be stable don't look for stability over this month look for an upgrade think outside the box allow yourself to be flexible allow yourself to advance advance ahead that's on the longer term and we have to know that Mercury is slowing down already and it's slowing down and it's going to enter its retrograde in the sign of Pisces I think the 12th degree on the 17th of February but just before it does that through this week it gives us an opportunity to actually complete things to actually advance things to actually take things forward and this is a great time to make use of that mercurial transits that are appearing this week in the sky namely a, a sextile to Uranus and a trine to the North Node that makes this an important week regarding our decisions our understandings our recollections allowing ourselves to be flexible innovative and let new ideas float in and new information float in maybe even new people new friends new groups float in that bring new awareness with them and enlightenment it's about deciding things that have to do more than me alone but actually do something good for the greater good <laughs> you know for humanity and it's about understanding and navigating because of those understandings to places that realign me try and realign realign me to my north node to my dragon's head to my destiny if you will to my point of destiny so this is not a week to sit idly and mourn about the Mercury uh, retrograde coming again. This is the time to actually take things forward before it does. And even when it does, even though this is a, a, a stronger retrograde than, than others, um, I don't. I never stop doing things on the Mercury retrograde. So um, let's see what else we're still under the influence of the square between Mars and Neptune this is a time that we can feel a little impotent and not in control and lose faith so shush you know just let those feelings be like clouds floating above you while you are laying down in the grass this is not you these are voices that you can let them pass you don't need to act upon them you don't need to react to them and this is already fading the first of February is a bit hectic don't look for stability 
uh, it's a fast paced uh, two days also the second even though the moon is in Taurus this is a good week to for financial stuff this is a good week for for uh, um, asking for a raise this is a good week for actually getting something in your job that you wanted for a long time or in a relationship because Venus is going through a sextile both with Saturn and Pluto and things that happen now can create value and popularity and actually establish them th themselves firmly in your reality um, Mercury enters Pisces on the third and this is already uh, not such a pleasant round for our Mercury that likes logic and clarity this is a much too um, vague and not of the space and time and 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 unclear and emotional kind of energy for Mercury nevertheless this is a very creative this is a very spiritual time and our understandings and recollections could be in those fields this is a sensitive time and this is a time for emotional Pisces and spiritual Pisces communication Mercury and interaction between our kin Mercury with our brothers and sisters Mercury and and have a bit more naivete and romance about the world which isn't a bad thing however if you have calculations, plans, if you're summing up your banks and debts and stuff, go over them twice. <laughs> the third, good day for business, even though Mercury is entering noontime Eastern European time to Pisces. The fourth is as well. Uh, the fifth is not a good day to ask for anything. It's a day to be much more... Um, how would I say flaccid isn't a good word <laughs> but recoil a little back and and because the moon is going to oppose Mars it's a day that our aggression and anger and short temper could <clears throat> get the better the best of us so just be careful we are going to be quite brilliant on that day with the sextile between Mercury and Uranus exact on that day and it's a day for epiphanies definitely <clears throat> um, the weekend is nice the weekend is nice um, the weekend is nice but on Saturday no it's on Friday the 7th Venus is going to enter Aries and when Venus enters Aries it's about four weeks that everything that is financial and everything that concerns relationships and our self-value and really our satisfaction from our interaction with the material plane and everybody and everything in it is going to be much more immediate it would need greater ground conquering new uh, territories and there would be a naivete a childish naivete there that could be a little blind you know to hurting or not enough sensitivities to others so this is a time that you know it's it's hard to postpone our 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 needs and wants and cravings um, immediate satisfaction is on the on the menu we can enjoy a lot of passion through this time and a lot of sexual attraction and kind of vital energy that vitality that is just you know felt nevertheless be careful not to be intolerant with your friends and 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 uh, people in your workplace and of course with your lovers at this time and as i said we are heading into a super moon in leo uh, on the eighth mercury is going to try in the north node as i said in the beginning of the video but on the ninth we have the super moon in leo it's a energetic high one of the peaks of this year it's the greatest time of this year to actually take what you love take what you believe in and step out to the world with it I mean conquer the, the stage with it believe in it believe in it out of love you know this is about all of us participating in this game of life 
and shining forth because we believe that we've been given something that is unique that would never ever reappear on this earth again and never has it been seen before it's a gift that only you can give this world only now and when it comes to Leo it's about life itself it's about beating death and darkness it's about making sure that life goes on that's why Leo creates that's why Leo is, is connected to children our greatest creations because it's our way to cheat death and reach eternal life whether it is to our creations our books our films or whatever it is our inventions or our children this is a time to participate this is a time to take leadership in your life this is a time to laugh and love and enjoy your life and give thanks for all the bounty that we have been given anyway that's about it for this week as I said I'm coming over uh, on April I'm going to be a week in Amsterdam seeing clients first week of April and then I'm over to the southwest I'm gonna start in California in Santa Ana then I'm going over to Phoenix Arizona and Tucson Arizona and then up to Nevada to Las Vegas and then to Utah to Zion Park and I'll be presenting in each of those places and seeing clients in each of those places and my time is limited so if you want a reading with Boaz Nia Filer <laughs> you better message me email me or contact me all the details are at the end of this video as soon as possible and of course for private lessons and consultations and groups be more I'm, I'm, I'll be very happy to hear from you so I'm basking in the Sun and I suggest you do the same may you all shine forth and live long and prosper bye bye